This video is brought to you by Altium. In this episode, I'm going to explain how to use different BMS modules for making different size battery bags. This video is going to be a little longer, but after watching this video, you will become an expert and then you will be able to make any size battery. Using lithium ion battery cells, you can make any size battery bag of your choice as you have a full control over the voltage and current selection. You can simply connect the lithium ion batteries in series to increase the voltage or connect them in parallel to increase the current or you can connect them in series and parallel at the same time to increase the voltage and current. So you can make a small 3.7 volt battery bag for powering up your Arduino, ESP32, SDM32, ESP8266, etc. Or you can make a heavy duty 14 volts battery bag to power up your entire house. Or a heavy duty 72 volts battery bag to power up your electric car. Since each lithium ion battery cell is only 3.7 volts, but come with different MH capacities from a few hundred MH to let's say 10,000 MH. In most applications, this voltage and current is not enough to power up your devices and then you start thinking about connecting these battery cells in series and parallel. At this point, you can use the soldering or the spot welding technology for making these series and parallel connections. Personally, I don't recommend the soldering technique for this job. What I recommend is the spot welding technology. In my previous video, I made this semi-automatic spot welding machine and I explained each and every detail including wiring explanation with the help of a simulation designed in Proteus, spot welding electrodes selection and how to weld lithium ion battery cells using this DIY homemade spot welding machine. Now with this automatic spot welding machine, I can start making battery bags for my upcoming electric bikes scooters, go-karts and so on. So I have these lithium ion batteries which I salvage from my dead hoverboard nickel plated strips and this automatic spot welding machine. So what else I need is the BMS module. BMS stands for battery management system. Here I have these different BMS modules. You can see the sizes are different. Don't get confused if you see smaller or bigger BMS modules. They use is 100% the same. The smaller and bigger BMS modules are the 3S BMS modules. The only difference is that the smaller one is for low current applications and this bigger BMS module can deal with high currents, while this other BMS module is 4S. So these two are the 3S BMS modules and this one is the 4S BMS module. 3S means 3 batteries in series and 4S means 4 batteries in series. And if you're making a battery bag for your electric bike or electric scooter, then you will need 13S BMS. It means you will need to connect 13 lithium ion batteries in series to get 48 volts. So before purchasing a BMS module first, make sure how much voltage and current you need. So I'm sure you have fully understood why 3S is written on these two BMS modules and why 4S is written on this other BMS module. Before I'm going to share with you some other useful information and the test results, first a few words about the sponsor of this video for helping me purchase the required components and tools. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Altium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. 
If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. Here is my 3S lithium ion battery pack made of three lithium ion battery cells connected in series. Each cell has 5000 mAh capacity. For this battery pack, I use 3S PMS module. Since I'm using only three lithium ion cells in series and there are no batteries connected in parallel, so the mAh will remain the same, which is 5000 mAh. As you know, in series, the current remains the same. If you want to increase the current capacity up to 10,000 mAh, then you will have to connect three more batteries, but this time in parallel. So the battery pack will become 3S and 2P. You can make 3S and 3P, 3S and 4P, and so on. This will increase the current capacity. I have already charge this battery pack and now let's test it with some loads. This one is 4S battery pack as you can see I have connected 4 lithium ion battery cells in series. As I'm using 4 cells, that's why I used a 4S PMS module. This battery pack gives me more voltage than the 3S battery pack, but the current capacity is still 5000 mAh as I'm not using any cells in parallel. I have already charged this battery pack and now let's test it with the same loads. After sharing with you the test results and some basic information, now it's time to explain the BMS modules, pinouts and wiring. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's first start with these 3S BMS modules. Both the modules are designed for the same job that is to protect the lithium ion batteries from the overcharge and over discharge. Both the modules got the same contacts, the same P plus and P minus contacts, the same B plus and B minus contacts. and the same B1 and B2 contacts. The only difference between the two BMS modules is that the smaller BMS module is designed for 10 ampere applications while the bigger BMS module is designed for 25 ampere application. So let's start with the smaller 10 ampere BMS module. The P plus and P minus contacts are used for the input and output. Through these contacts, you will charge your batteries and to these contacts, you will also connect your output loads, but one at a time. You can either connect the load or you can charge the batteries. When a charger is connected, you cannot connect the loads. So first charge the batteries using these P plus and P minus contacts, then remove the charger and connect the load which you want to power up. The B plus and B minus contacts will be connected with the battery pack main positive and main ground terminals. The B1 contact will be connected with the 3.7 volts and B2 contact will be connected with 7.4 volts. Don't get confused, I know what exactly you are thinking. Let me explain this in more easy way. 
Since we are making a 3S battery pack, which means we need to connect three lithium ion cells in series, connect the positive side of the first battery with the negative side of the second battery. Now, connect the positive side of the second battery with the negative side of the third battery. The positive side of the third battery is the main positive of the battery pack and it should be connected with a B plus contact on the PMS module and the negative side of the first battery is the main negative of the battery pack and it should be connected with the B minus contact on the BMS module. The B1 should be connected with the first cell and B2 should be connected with the second cell. Here I have this very simple connection diagram. Now let's practically make a 3S lithium ion battery pack. No matter if you have got the new or old lithium ion battery cells, first check the voltages. Select batteries which gives you approximately the same voltages. All these batteries are in usable condition. I just love building a battery pack using these lithium ion battery cells. I can connect them in different styles. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with this configuration so that you can easily understand the connections. First, I'm going to connect all these three batteries in series. You can see the positive side of this battery is connected with the negative side of this battery and the positive side of this battery is connected with the negative of this third battery. Fix the BMS module using hot glue or double sided tape. Now it's time to start soldering the wires. Let's first solder the battery pack main voltage and ground wires which you can confirm using the digital multimeter. Now look for the first cell and confirm the voltage it should be around 3.7 volts. Connect this to B1 contact on the BMS. Now look for the second cell and again confirm the voltage it should be around 7.4 volts. Connect this to B2 contact on the BMS module. Finally, connect the XT60 connector wires with the P plus and P minus contacts. The wiring is completed and I'm going to confirm the voltages one more time before I charge this battery pack. Perfect. Everything is done correctly. I just charged this 3S lithium ion battery pack and now it's time to test it with some loads. Now look at this 10 ampere 4 SPMS module. It has got the same contacts as the 3 SPMS module. This module also has these voltages printed which makes it easier to use. The only difference between the 3 S and 4 SPMS modules is that the 4 SPMS module has this one more contact which is labeled as B3. Let's take a look at the connection diagram. 
I have already made this for a battery pack. The P plus and P minus contacts are connected to the XT60 connector. The B plus and B minus contacts are connected with the battery pack main positive voltage and ground. B1 is connected with the positive of battery 1. B2 is connected with the positive of battery 2. And finally, the B3 contact is connected with the positive of battery 3. So that's all about the connections and now let's check all the voltages. Great. Everything is perfectly wired up and now we can test it with some loads. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.